Hey everyone, today I've got a pretty cool DVD unboxing to show you guys. I finally, finally got around to picking this one up. The Danny Phantom Complete Series DVD collection here from Nickelodeon and Shout Factory. And this is a title I never originally planned on picking up ever because I don't, I don't really care too much about this show. I am curious, um, you know, to watch it at least once, um, at least a few of the episodes anyway. If I, if I, if I don't like watching the first few ep episodes of this, I probably won't watch the entire series, but um, I kind of just wanted to buy this because I wanted to have every Nickelodeon um, release from Shout Factory. So the last two that I had to get were Hey Dude and Danny Phantom. Um, I bought Hey Dude because I saw it at Walmart for only $15. And since I found that one there, I knew that eventually at least I had to get Danny Phantom as well, just so I could say I have them all. And all the other ones I really enjoy, so um, really Hey Dude and Danny Phantom are the two that I don't care too much about, but it's just two titles that were pretty cheap. So I'm happy to have it in my collection, just so I can kind of say that I have them all. And I am curious to check the show out too, even though I know it's, it's not one that I watched as a kid. And I know I watched at least a few episodes and didn't really care for it too much, but, you know, maybe if I give it another go, um, maybe I'll like it a little more than I did, I'm not sure. But, um, nonetheless, um, nice packaging, as usual, from Shout Factory. It says all 52 Phantasmic episodes together on DVD for the first time. And, of course, this has been out for a few years now, I believe. Um, so this is definitely not new or anything, not a new release. It's been out for quite a while. Uh, here's a look at the spine. Looks quite nice. It is a 9 DVD set from Shout Factory. Then we'll take a look at the back. And again, all 52 episodes. Uh, pretty standard artwork on the back. It looks quite nice. I got some thumbnails here. And running time of plus or minus 19 hours. So you get a very good amount of content for the price that you pay and I bought this for I believe it was $16.99 on Amazon pretty decent price that's you know the going rate is usually between $15 and $20 for this so kind of a middle of the road price and that's pretty good even at the high price of around $20 uh, you can't really go wrong if this is a show that you really like because um, paying quite a bit less than a dollar per episode like 50 cents maybe even less than that I'm too lazy to do the math in my head but it's quite cheap so that's pretty good um, see another thing I was gonna quickly note about buying some of these shout factory or any other uh, sort of similar titles on Amazon that have this thicker uh, kind of packaging um, be kind of careful when you open them up make sure you kind of shake them a little bit lightly just to make sure there aren't any little plastic pieces from the case floating around. Um, this is a replacement. I actually bought this on Amazon the first time and returned the first one I got um, because there was a little plastic piece from the case floating around and it was the actually the little plastic piece that was part of the hinge here so it wouldn't close right. So be careful of that. Sometimes they don't package their items uh, the best, at least for these kind of DVD cases I've found. So. Uh, this one seems like it's pretty much perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. And hopefully nothing is damaged on the inside. It doesn't appear that that will be the case. Um, but I just wanted to note that for anyone who buys these kind of titles on Amazon, or really anywhere else for that matter, I guess, it's it's kind of easy for these bigger cases to have, you know, uh, issues go wrong with them as compared to just a, you know, a single DVD case because as you will see there's kind of a lot of components to it um, lots of small little parts in here that could easily get you know just dismantled from in the process of shipping or whatever so but anyways with that aside we'll take a look inside here and already I'm quite impressed by this inside artwork um, very decorative and very nice looking they did a great job uh, no inserts or anything but that's okay so that looks very nice. Um, and then here are the DVDs with nice work, artwork on these as well. And as you can tell, these are um, pretty. These are going to be the exact same discs you would get if you bought these seasons uh, individually. So we'll go through the we'll go through these here. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, but season one 
Season 1, Disc 1. Season 2, Disc 1. No, no, no. Season 1, Disc 2. I'm reading these wrong. Uh, season 1, Disc 3. And then a season one, disc four over here. So season one is a pretty big season. And then they did the uh, part one and part two kind of thing here. So we have disc one of season two, part one. And then disc one of season two, part two. So that's interesting. There's, on, there's part one. Yeah, there's only one disc for part one, but they still put disc one on it. That's interesting. Um, yeah, anyway, see, disc, disc one, season two, part two, disc two, season two, part two. Then finally on to the last discs here. I guess there were only three seasons in this series, but here's disc one of season three, and then disc two of season three. So that's pretty nice. Take this last disc out so I can show you the artwork on the back here as well. As you can see, it is quite nice. Um, now the only thing that would have been a little nicer that they could have done, I suppose, is uh, maybe include like an episode list for each of the discs or something. Um, I, I guess I can't remember off the top of my head now, but I feel like they did that for some of the other complete series. Um, I haven't looked at them for quite a while, some of my other ones, but um, in fact, let me just uh, pull one random one off of my shelf here and we'll take a look for comparison. So I just can't remember, but Cat Dog, let's see, yeah, Cat Dog, as you can see, um, they did do an episode thing on the whole, on the back here. They didn't do it on the inside, but they did it on the back covers here. Um, let's take a look at another one, like Rocco's Modern Life, for example. And they didn't do it on Rocco's Modern Life, I guess, so... So, all right, so this isn't the only one that they didn't do it with. They just did it with some of the bigger ones, I guess, um, where they included an episode list. But otherwise, um, really no complaints about this as far as packaging or the discs or anything like that. It's a really nice quality case, um, really nice looking packaging overall, and it, you know, it's just really good Shout Factory release of a Nickelodeon cartoon from the early 2000s. So, you know, really cool release. Again, it's not a show that I care too much about, but still it's kind of nice to own this just so I now can say I have all of the Nickelodeon Shout Factory releases, and that's pretty cool. So, so yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's uh, really anything else to say, so thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next video.